and how long it's taken me to do this if I'm honest with you guys there's so much going on behind the scenes that I just haven't got around to doing it so what I'm gonna do because obviously as you guys know to recap very very quickly I had the builder coming in and he was just gonna be doing the flooring in the kitchen the flooring in the living room and the flooring in the hallway when he got here I was like oh maybe there'll be enough flooring left for the bedroom so we'll do the bedroom he was like okay yeah there's enough flooring left we'll do the bedroom he did the bedroom I was like, oh, well, we can't do the flooring in the bedroom without painting the bedroom, so I have to paint the bedroom. So he painted the bedroom. Then I was like, look, I know you're only in here, and obviously he decorated the living room as well, like the panelling and stuff like that, which will go all through all this. But um, then I was like, oh, while you're here, obviously I know you're busy and stuff, but like, can you just give me a quote for the bathroom? Because I'm thinking about um, like doing the bathroom next. And he was like, well, look, while I'm here, I might as well just start so basically this was supposed to be something that I was going to take my time and like do slowly but surely room by room and then it all just kind of like fell into like one whole big thing um so yeah it's it's been a bit mad um this morning randomly I had ITV come into my flat and film they're going to film something or they filmed something for the regional news or the ITV news something like that anyways ciao it's quite funny because, <laughs> and so this is not home renovation related, but this is just, I'm just gonna tell you this vlog anyway. It's quite interesting because I think what their, their angle is, is that content creators or influencers as they love to call us. I'm not an influencer, I'm a content creator, but anyway, um, they basically are trying to pin the blame on like the rise of returns on us. And I'm saying, well, look, I buy and get gifted from brands a lot of stuff and I try it on and I give honest opinions so that consumers can make more informed choices about what they're going to buy what they're not going to buy sizing and that sort of thing you know and also like as long as there's the option to shop online people are going to buy extra stuff because they don't you know and then they're going to return it they're going to try it on and then they're going to return it so anyway I think yes obviously as content creators, influencers, fashion ones or whatever like everybody has to take a part of the blame right or everybody has to take part responsibility um but the long story is <laughs> i'm about to be on itv news looking like the bad girl anyway that was my weird and random story so what we're going to do today i have um an array of objects which i have picked out and i'm gonna sit and go through them and like vases some stuff i don't even remember candles diffusers all this stuff so first part of call is to go through those two bags um and see like about like where we're gonna place things in the flat, I think. tried to remember to link everything in the kitchen in the description box although at the top of my head it's just my toast and my kettle which you guys in the vlog saw already and then my joseph chopping boards which i got off brand alley because i had to get a deal and then my brabantia uh drying rack which i got off of amazon because i got it on a deal as i mentioned i've got two huge primark bags and i kind of want to go through them and figure out like where things are going to go so first up i think These are quite handy actually. I actually picked these up off of Boohoo, which is just so random. Um, they're airtight. I know what I'm gonna do with this. I am gonna put, should I put my BCAA instead of having it in the plastic, have it in this? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is in the maybe pile, because of course some of this stuff just won't go out as yet. There's like no effort to go, so. I'll just pop that in the maybe pile. Let me change the battery on you quickly. I'm in a bit of a stupor about this, because um, there's three in here. 
comment, help me out. What would you guys use this for? I have a ton of like slimline ones, tall ones. Let me grab it and show you actually. So I have these ones already. These are my chia seeds. This is my like superfood blend. And I already have these in the kitchen cupboard. So, okay, that's just in the main part. It might get packed away. Okay, right. First thing I can see in here, this was meant to be like the blanket for my sofa. So my sofa is the grand lid from Ikea. I have the four seater one with the chaise. This is the chaise part and um, it does have storage in the base. So some of these bits, if there's any space, because I've already used the majority of it, I will store it in the base. So anyway, I picked up this blanket and I love it. It's from the H&M and they did a collab with a lady named Lul Lulama Wolf. Um, this was, it's got the tag 60 quid. 60 quid and I love it. It was actually meant to, hold on, let me show you. So you see where this pink one is? It was meant to sit there, but then I got that pink one from a next Jasper Conman event and I really, really like it. So I think this, I will still use it, but this might be for autumnal purposes when it gets a little bit colder, even though we're in the middle of summer and it's literally like not playing ball right now. So that's in the pack down pile. This is kind of made in the pack down pile as well. I do need to figure out where half this stuff is gonna go because these bags just cannot sit there anymore. Anyway, next up I have a vase, a white vase, and I think I'm gonna get this one out. So this one is from H&M. And I did show you guys, I showed you guys this in a H&M home haul. It's a really nice design actually, I really like it. It's kind of this, ceramic wavy vibe so that is definitely going to go out and that's probably going to go by the mirror here is my other vase so i have like pink white pink and white basically i love this vase i also have another one from ikea which i just threw into the order which i didn't need to so this one i think is going to be a bit more occasion so i don't really have anything for this one but the white one for sure definitely um, what? Honestly, I don't even remember half the stuff. Oh, this is the Pantone one. Is it Pantone? Pantone? Where am I going to put this? Mate, can someone tell me why? Basically, I knew home reno was going to be expensive, right? So all the little decorative pieces, I just slowly, like, as and when I saw them, I would pick them up. And now... I'm like, maybe I should put them out. So this is the Pantone, Pantone, whatever you say. This is the collab with H&M. Hmm, I think this might go on the windowsill. Found a home for you. Found a home for you. Yeah, I think you're gonna go on the windowsill. A bit bold for the windowsill. I think you are, okay. Oh, this is from Ikea. This is just like a little water cork water jar thing which actually i'm going to fill up with mint lemon and ginger actually so we're going to take this out and we're going to use this now oh okay i have this this is also from h&m are you sensing a theme <laughs> this is from h&m home and i literally got it like a year and a half ago maybe even longer than that i got it around the christmas time uh, it's 12 quid and now i'm thinking actually should i leave this in the kitchen or should i put it in my bedroom should I put it in the bathroom? Right, I've got a delivery and I'm still cooking my gyoza. So time has passed, but very quick pause. And I know this is not home reno at all, but I got this package just now in PR from L'Oreal Paris. How lovely is this? And it's the ultimate dupes of your cult favorite. So basically what they've done is, and I've seen someone else speaking about this. Basically they've taken, for instance, like this is probably a dupe for the Estee Lauder serum. Um, not my gyoza's hissing up, one sec. Okay, these really need to get out of here now. They're done. They are done, done, done. I like them very crispy. We'll let you rest. But yeah, they've just basically done a ton of dupes. I reckon this is a dupe for Olaplex. Um, I don't know about the other ones to be honest, but yeah, a really generous PR package. And I'm so, honestly, like I was, I, I think I knew something was coming, but I wasn't quite sure. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. I cannot wait to use these. 
Okay, so we are back. I'm almost done with this first bag. I know what this is. This is another marble tray. Oh, I love it so much. This I think is gonna go on the windowsill as well, actually. This thing is heavy. Marble. Again, H&M home. So I think this is gonna go on this windowsill. Got a ton of recycling at this point. Got this little, oh, she's had an accident on her leg. <laughs> I've got this little candle thing, so I'm gonna pop this somewhere. Actually, no, I might give this away. So I have a bunch of dried flowers. These are from Primark. They say four pounds on the label, but I really think they were on offer for half price. I really, really do. So there's that. I also have my sorted caramel diffuser. But honestly, at this rate, if I don't do this now, like I'm just not gonna do it. Actually, don't wanna be that typical Brit that moans about the weather, but really, it's so bad outside. Okay, so that's that. These are all the pumpkin grasses, and I think I actually might put them Maybe I'll use the pink vase because really and truly that white vase that I put by the mirror ain't up to much. Okay, and then this is the actual pampas. Let's just see if this, get another one. Some going that way, some going that way. So I'm gonna find somewhere for this. I think this is, I'm actually gonna use it and like put food on it and stuff like that. So there's that. These are my coasters from Zara. My lamp. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? Because the mess around me right now is crazy. So let me place these items and then I'll just come back and chat to you when I've put them where they need to go. I'm gonna throw on a time lapse. <laughs> today so I'm actually gonna pause after this and then show you guys the bathroom but I'll walk through the little decorative pieces and show you guys where I've popped everything and also in the kitchen as well actually so we're gonna start off in my little desk area I popped the Pantone Pantone I really don't know anyway I'm just gonna say Pantone for the rest of the video because chair um I popped this vase here I didn't find a home for the other one so the other one is currently still in the storage and then I just popped the little um dried flowery things in there from Primark so I've 
I've left that in the corner there. Obviously everything here is pink, so it goes really, really well with that. Over in this corner, I added both of the vases. Um, I still don't know if I wanna have both of them there or if I want to get taller dried flowers in one of them at least, so they add a little bit more depth. But for now, this is how they are. This is how they're looking. It really didn't look so great with one either side. So I just think, let me leave them like that. I'll go on the hunt for some taller dried flowers and see what I come up with. Um, also, the mirror is from a brand called Dolls, D-A-A-L-S. Um, I found them literally on Google and had a really good service. The only thing I'll, that I'll say is that um, literally everybody does curbside delivery. It doesn't matter whether you've got one step, two step, <laughs> one flight, two flights, everyone is curbside. So yeah, that's where my mirror is from. The lighting's been a bit bad, but the paneling was like a DIY job from the builder. So I basically bought from b and Q. I I think it was, how long were they? They were quite long. They must've been about two, three meters length. Anyway, I bought three, of, well, I bought six, ended up only using three. So um, yeah, he basically just marked it out, carved it, cut it, stuck it on and then painted it. And then I used the same paneling for like a little dado rail as well. The paint in here, paint in here is from V and Co. And I shared with you guys, remember I was toying with painting the little like walk-in green i decided to just leave it in the end um but that's the same company and this is white shade one so in some areas to me it looks like it has like a creamy maybe almost pink kind of tinge to it so do bear that in mind because if you want like a stock white 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 um i don't think this is a stock white 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 but then i didn't want a stock white 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 i wanted a warm one but i didn't want magnolia um and i obviously love pink and also i don't know if it's because there are accents of pink in here maybe that's why it looks a little bit pink but i personally really really love it the quality of the paint is amazing the painter said it my builder said it um i can tell already like little marks that i've got on the wall i've been able to like wipe them off apart from in one area where i've literally just scratched the wall of a chair but we won't talk about that um so yeah the paint is white shade one and that is from v and co and i'm gonna link it and list it in the description box below so this is the or one of the h&m marble trays i was gonna put it in the kitchen but i decided to leave it in the living room because the other square one was just a little bit too wide for the windowsill so i popped it here um i'll usually have my keys here as well and then my sorted caramel zara reed diffuser which i can confess or can confirm rather smells incredible again i <laughs> so sorry about the light it's decided to be sunny um but i decided to pop this lamp here i am not too crazy about the lampshade so i think i'm probably going to take this off when i find a better one um but the lamp is here and yeah easy access i usually sit here on the chaise pot hence the non-aesthetic um quilt or blanket over the top just because obviously this is white and even though you can take the covers off and wash it I'm like just trying to protect this little spot here because I do eat on the sofa which I know is bad you shouldn't um but as I said this does have a liftable let me see this does have a base which you can lift which is again stuff with more stuff like bedding more blankets tech a yoga mat um so yeah that's the main draw for this so far for me the fact that i could add a little bit of extra storage and in fact that blanket there needs to go underneath here but that's the sofa i mean the only thing that i don't like about the sofa is the fact that it's a scatter back but aside from that i think it's a relatively good price it's half the price of my previous sofa <laughs> um so i can't complain about that um i probably just need to reorganize the cushions a little bit flooring is still going strong i really have to say the the things i think have made a huge difference in this living room probably the sofa the flooring the paint i'm just gonna go ahead and list everything now clearly um but i mean honestly this flooring again i'll link it in the description box below i'm so glad that i decided to go for the herringbone because initially i was like oh herringbone is expensive like you know double the cost to buy double the cost for them to fit and i was just like but I bit the bullet and I'm really glad that I did. Yeah, did such a great job on it. Um, so yeah, this is my old and obviously load of tech. Cause obviously this is my new 
filming situation. So most of my stuff is filmed here now. I did start filming some YouTube videos in here as well, but uh, this is my old rug. So I need to decide what I'm gonna do with it because the flooring, I just love the flooring. I, I really don't wanna cover it with a rug. So what I may do is I may pop this rug in the bedroom, perhaps. Um, it's summer now, so I don't know, as autumn and winter draws in, I might want something under my foot bottom, so it might go into the um, bedroom. So the only other thing that I'm yet to show you guys is my curtains. They are relatively cheap and they are from Ikea. I'll list them below. I believe they're called the Hannafil or the Hannafil, I think. Anyway, they're on a track and I need to go back and buy like two or three more packs. So I don't actually have enough. Um, but I really like it. I like the fact that the track comes further to this side. So if I wanted to make it go, you know, closer to the mirror, I can. Um, also, I just love this mirror. It makes my life so much easier. It really, really does. But um, yeah, the lighting right now is pretty bad. What else do I have to share with you guys from in the living room? I think that's about it. So yeah, flooring, as you guys know, sofa is Ikea. This is my new um, Next and Jasper Comran blanket oh this is pretty cute i haven't shown you guys this yet this is from a brand called i think it's amelia or um, i'm gonna pop them in the description box but she basically does a ton of these prints and they're really really cute she does wedding invites i'm pretty sure like all sorts of stuff really really artsy stuff so yeah dream until it's your reality is the one that i picked out it came with the frame as well yeah i think that is it for the living room and i'm gonna briefly show you what i did in the kitchen with the tray and yeah just the tray really okay so i basically popped this h&m tray in here i was originally going to go for the marble one that's on the uh windowsill in the living room but i thought this goes better with the theme obviously we've got matte black in here and then this is also like a matte black tray um and then obviously you guys saw the rest earlier. And then I finally popped my kettle out. This is my Alessi kettle, my toaster, my Alessi toaster. They've only been sitting in the box for about eight months, but they're finally out now, which is great. I did also put out my new Brabantia draining rack. And then lastly, I popped out my Joseph chopping boards. These are really handy. Um, so yeah, I got those. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the living room and the kitchen. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to show you guys or that I hadn't shared with you. Um, the mirror I mentioned. That lampshade is really bugging me, so I'm probably definitely going to change it. But yeah, so far so good. It's amazing how much um, like brighter this room is now. Um, I like I love it I think just certain little things just make the room so much brighter definitely the paint definitely the flooring like makes such a difference so yeah I'm really happy with the flooring really happy with the paint the paint is a nice good quality paint as well as I was saying so anyway I don't want to repeat myself I'm actually going to go and film some content with this I'm still so amazed that I was given this amazing PR package so I'm gonna film some skincare content with this and then tomorrow I will show you the rest which is just the bathroom we'll just quickly go through um like some key stuff in the bathroom and then yeah that will close out the home reno vlogs it's been definitely a trying <laughs> and laborious process and I'm really happy that it's come to an end I think it definitely like towards the end it's just like very tiring very very tiring which is why like months and months later after the even after the last when did he leave june bloody hell that's why months later i've still got all like i'm just now getting around to taking the decorative bits out so yeah it's definitely been trying and i think because i had initially planned on having a break and doing the bathroom much later it's been like a little bit wild a little bit manic but it's done now and um yeah just happy that it's all finally done anyway i'm gonna stop and pause because i'm rambling i'll see you guys in literally two seconds and we will go through it'll be two seconds but really in real life it'll be like the whole next day um so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow in the bathroom good afternoon another day i just finished a quick meeting on google meet which by the way like i just thing that annoys me about google meet yeah is that when people send their calendar invite it goes automatically to your 
iPhone calendar. I don't use my iPhone calendar, I use my Google calendar. So then I add it to my Google calendar and then when I click to try and go in and go into the meeting room, I have to go via my iPhone calendar, which is not always on, like it's not on my laptop for instance, Whatever for whatever reason it just doesn't go on my laptop. So I've got like all these Apple, do anyway, I'm sure you guys probably don't even care about this. Um, so let me know. Anyway, it is the next day. I'm still wearing the same outfit. I'm actually just about to head out to um, a Sam McKnight hair event. So yeah, I'm going to go there. I've re I, Honestly, I feel so unwell at the moment. It's not even normal. Um, I, I'll spare you the details because this is the home reno vlog. So as... <laughs> As I said yesterday, I'm going to share with you guys the bar from now. And then I think that's it. I think we're done. And I think we're going to close out the home reno vlogs. And it's been a journey. It's been an experience. It's been a learning curve. But let me quickly show you the bathroom. And then I got to get out of here. Okay, so bathroom. Here we are. I think the most notable thing about the bathroom is the bathroom tile. The bathroom tile is actually from Tile Mountain. I will link it down in this. Let me just turn this off real quick because otherwise the lighting. So you guys can kind of see it in normal daylight, she says. But actually, <laughs> it's so dark. We're having the worst summer in England. But yeah, this is from Tile Mountain. And it was a choice between, it was a choice between this tile, this big, big tile that you see, and then like a smaller, tile and the smaller one would have been literally half the price um and it would have been way easier to get into the flat because i'm trying to see if i can find okay for instance like this here do you see the size of this is one tile here from here all the way down to the bottom there and then here to here so that is like the size of one of the tiles so yeah this tile is from tile mountain and i hands down best decision ever i'll see if i can overlay some images of like what the bathroom looked like once it was getting done but basically the bathroom is pretty small we did lose a little bit of space on it and um, we basically had to build a stud wall so um for instance like this wall here is like fake um <laughs> there's like space in between it and then the original wall is behind it because in order to have my shower this is my sanu shower Hello you guys, I'm just hopping in here to add something onto this video. Please excuse me because Sanu is actually pronounced Sanyu and I proceeded to pronounce it incorrectly for the entire video. I'm telling you, by the time this home reno was done, my brain was just not complying. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about my shower. This is part of the brassware range, which is known as COS. This has a PVD finish for brush brass. So basically it ensures that it stays brass for years to come. It's one of the strongest types of finishes on brassware because obviously Obviously, there's nothing worse than starting off one colour and then in a year, two years, three years, it turns into a different colour. It's a round design, so it makes it very versatile, which is obviously great for me because I uh, picked out pieces from different places and yeah, it was versatile and everything did kind of like fit in in the end. So there are three available colours as well. So there's chrome, brushed nickel and matte black. Obviously, I was toying with matte black, but being that I had everything in the kitchen matte black, I left it, but... I needed matte black somewhere so kitchen had matte black and I went for this color or colorway in the bathroom so yeah just hopping in here for that correction I'm sure I'll probably hop in in a sec <laughs> again and I when I tell you this just set the thing off this really did so it's funny because I ordered the overhead thing and I was like oh you know, my partner loves the overhead one. When, whenever we're away and there's this overhead, he always goes for that. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make sure there's one with the overhead because he loves that. But I don't like it or so I thought. So then I got the one that had the handheld as well. Um, and I hardly used the handheld, which is mad. I literally just always use this one now because I thought I'd always be getting my hair wet, but actually I'm not, so it's fine. Um, one thing that the builder was able to do for me, which I absolutely love, is the small things. He was able to build like a little indent thing, um, which is great. So obviously that was part of the fact that this is a stud wall. So actually the back of this is kind of close, if not the original like back wall. Yeah, the shower is from Sanu. I mean, it's a quality shower kit. I cannot 
say anything bad about this Sanu shower kit. And all of the other fixtures, one thing about the bathroom which is crazy, you have to buy everything, 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 individual, individual. So um, I bought a bath, but I had to buy, this is called a click clack, I think. So you had to buy that separate. I had to buy the tap separate. Then I bought a sink, but it doesn't come with a tap, so I had to buy a tap. It doesn't come with a click clack. And then obviously like, I knew that my Sanu, sorry, this camera's crazy, but I knew that my Sanu shower was gold or like brushed brass. So then like, I had to buy everything gold or brushed brass and like try and get it all to link up. The toilet flush pay I had to buy. So everything is from separate places. So like even the sink comes on this thing here. This thing, I think it did come with handles to be fair, but I had to buy some other ones. This is from Wix, this little um, sink thing. I can't remember where the tap is from. I wanna say it's from Victorian Plumbing. Everything in this bathroom is either Wix, Victorian Plumbing or Sanu. The mirror, me again. <laughs> I wanna talk about the mirror. I'm gonna go on to talk about it in a little bit more detail and show you my favorite feature in a sec. But this is part of the Oscar range uh, and I will link it in the description box below. I did have an Ikea round mirror on the wall. So when it came to switching it out, I think the other Ikea mirror that I had was like 57 centimeters. So I just went for a 60 centimeter one, but it does come in five, um, yeah, five sizes. So 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters, 70 and 80. So again, I got the 60 centimeter. One of the features that I didn't mention in the video is that there is a pad to prevent condensation staying on the mirror when you have a hot shower or bath and I really like my showers to be super super hot so that comes in handy obviously I do also have my bathroom fan and a window to make sure that things just don't get like too steamy or condensated but that's also a really cool feature from Sanyu on the Oscar mirror is also Sanyu which I honestly like look at this you can change the temperature of the freaking <laughs> light. I just couldn't believe it. So yeah, this has got like an electrical point inside the mirror. Um, and he had to put like, we had to get like special drill bits. Um, George actually hooks this up behind with all the like electrician and wires he stuff. I got my fan off of Amazon actually, to be fair. Um, and that's about it. To be honest, my toilet, I got so fed up with the toilet because I basically needed something with a multi-compact system back thing. And after ordering another toilet for the second time and it came, it just wasn't gonna work. I just gave up and my builder literally just went out and came back with a toilet. And I was like, thank you, because I'm about to cry, <laughs> which I'm laughing about now, but I think at the time I was genuinely about to cry. Um, but yeah, bathroom is done. I think the bathroom is probably like my favorite place in the flat. And that's it, there's not really much else to say about it. I think this shower screen is from Victorian Plumbing. Um, my faves are just the bits from Sanu and the tiles, if I'm honest. Um, having said, like having gone through it and done all this now, the only thing that I'd maybe do differently if I was on a budget is I wouldn't do the tiles. Um, because like I said, I really could have saved. On the same website, there was a much cheaper tile alternative. But I think because I wanted marble, I'm very particular about the veining and the like strains in the marble. Um, so yeah, this one for me is it's an onyx and I just preferred it. It's a lot more subtle than like big harsh, like, you know, so yeah, really glad that I went for this tile in the end. I, I can't remember if I showed you guys also, this needs to get some white spirit and clean up there, but that's another story for another time. Um, I can't remember if I showed you guys the samples of the tiles. I feel like I maybe did. It's been such a time, like long time I'm like, forgetting what I've shown you and what I haven't. My blinds are just the blinds to go once. If I'm honest, I ordered that for the kitchen. They came, they did not fit. I don't know how I sent them the wrong measurements, but I did. And then I said, well, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> that has to go up somewhere else. So I took it into the bathroom and it fit in the bathroom. I think he shaved it to make it properly, properly fit. I said, that can run, because I'm not, I'm not spending money. <laughs> So that's the story of the uh, bathroom brands. I'm not gonna show you, I mean, the window is like thingy, but I'm not gonna show you outside just in case. Um, but yeah, that's it done. Home reno done. I've learned a lot, I've overspent, and it was stressful. <laughs>
yeah I'm happy really really happy that it's been done also this is the sorted caramel candle that we unboxed yesterday and it's found its rightful place in the bathroom I love it um but yeah that's it so that marks the end of this home reno series and I really hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for bearing with me it has been quite tough um and like like behind the scenes so much has been going on that I've just like been trying to keep up trying to keep up so yeah i'm really happy that i was able to film this and get this done if you have any questions pop them below i'm always in the comments i haven't been able to share my builder as yet for a couple of reasons one he's away for <laughs> many months so um i haven't actually had a chance to speak with him and see whether like he's happy for me to pass on and share his details because i know this guy is so 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 booked up i was very very lucky to get him in um and the other reason is because my friend my really really close friend that recommended him to me actually has some extra work for him to do at hers so i don't want to be like passing out his number to everybody so that when he comes back he's like mad fully booked and then he can't even reach back to her yard to do um the extra jobs that she has there so yeah that's the only reason but as soon as i'm able to share it i will um i'll pop it up somewhere so yeah what i'll do is i'll just um keep an eye on it and see speak to him when he's back i feel like he's back i don't know knowing him he probably ex uh, um extended his trip so um yeah who knows so yeah as soon as i can i will find a way to share i'll probably drop it in a new vlog mad new chapter new things this um yeah it's definitely a transition period and um yeah i'm really happy i'm really proud of myself i really wanted to renovate this flat and i didn't want to do small little diy fixes and i didn't want to do anything until i owned the property and um yeah it's just been yeah, it's just been mad because the second I bought it, I was like, okay, right, boiler's getting changed. <laughs> Walk in wardrobe, like I just go, 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 go. So now I'm kind of like set, like settling down now and stuff. It's just, um, I don't know, I just feel really reflective over it all, all of a sudden. So anyway, I don't want to be um, <laughs> all emotional. So yeah, I don't want to be emotional. So I'm going to sign off the home reno vlogs i'm really really happy that i've been able to do this i want to say thank you to the home reno brands that i collaborated with because the quality of the items that i received from sanu from um direct wood flooring from v and co or valsper paint um and also from tile mountain top tier like when i look around this living room i look at the paint in here and i'm like wow that set the thing off and i was able to collaborate with that brand the floor the direct wood flooring it's like so yeah really grateful to the brands that i was able to collaborate with none of them were spade spade sponsored or paid adverts but i was able to collaborate with them in some way so yeah look really appreciate um because i'm such a small content creator so i'm really really grateful to them for partnering with me in any way so yeah, that is it from me. Signing, finally signing off the Home Reno vlogs. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out the other vlogs if you missed out. But yeah, thank you guys again and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.